Dispersing protesters with tear gas and gunfire on Thursday, police in Myanmar once again came down hard on opponents of last month's military coup. It comes after what was the bloodiest day since protests began, with 38 people killed by security forces on Wednesday, according to the UN. Amongst them, Kiel Sin, who's become a symbol of the protesters' fight for democracy. Hundreds of mourners attended the 19-year-old's funeral in Mandalay on Thursday. The dancer and taekwondo champion was shot in the head by security forces. This photo of the moments before her death has gone viral. Wednesday was a gruesome milestone which prompted the United Nations to toughen its stance. But there are action steps that need to be taken. First of all, sanctions, focused, coordinated, tough sanctions. A global arms embargo will also be very important to stop the flow of arms uh, into the hands of the generals. And I'd like to see the Security Council uh, make a reference of this horror uh, to the International Criminal Court. Witness reports say security forces opened fire on crowds with rubber and live bullets in a number of cities with no warning. International condemnation has so far been ignored by Myanmar's military. Diplomats say the UN Security Council will discuss the crisis at a meeting on Friday. Sanctions are being considered by Western countries, including the United States.